we went on a camping trip right after our big, big adventures, I wouldn't have the energy for that. Yeah. I guess that's true. Yeah. This week feels really weird to me because like a lot happened at work and then, and then we came back from AX and then I went camping. <laughs> yeah. I went climbing and then camped while I was there. So nice. I drove like two and a half, three hours away to this little area and then just did some did some climbing did there. Some bouldering, some climbing. Yeah. I made a, I made a cool little little uh, cast iron meal. A cast iron meal. I, I and your cast an iron entire skillet? beer in the in the in the construction of the meal. Oh, did you like simmer the beer and then put like whatever's in it and just like simmer that whole beer in it? Yep, beer battered or much. something? Yeah. So I I put potatoes. Mm. And then I cut those and let them sit in some Sapporo for a bit. Sapporo. And then... Nice. Yeah, that's some nice beer. Sapporo would be good. I took, a, I took a case of Sapporo with me. Yeah, Sapporo would be probably um, pretty in my, good. In my cooler, which is awesome. Um, and then I, so I put that in there and I let that sit for a bit while I was getting everything else. So then I cut up uh, onion, garlic, bell peppers, and sausage or bratwurst links. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I, I put all the vegetables in the pan with <laughs> uh, olive oil and more Sapporo. More Sapporo. Uh, and then, well, I didn't use a whole thing for the potatoes. So I, and then, so once those were cooked, then I dropped in the the bratwurst, and then you know, empty the rest of the Sapporo can in there. That cooked, and then when that was done. We're just about done. I added two eggs and then cheese. Nice. Grated Sounds cheese. pretty damn good. What did the Sapporo add and to And then your salt dish? and pepper. And then, then Marin, and Marin would be proud. <laughs> Marin. It was, well, I mean, there was there was at least a bell pepper in this. Yeah. It was good. Um, not bad. And I, so I, every time I go camping, I cook way too much. Like, because I end up filling the whole cast iron skill. Yeah. It's yeah. like 12 inch cast iron it's a full-sized boy which is way yeah. too much to eat by myself yeah but it this was a dual purpose because this was a very like breakfasty themed type deal or tasted like breakfast yeah. so mm-hmm. i just saved half of it for the morning and it was nice. great i reheated it Did you, is this solo just went solo no i went with a bunch of climbing people you oh, just, okay all you right. just cooked for yourself didn't share i mean yeah you didn't share everyone else had their own food i was you know I, some people add a little bit, but but I just you know I also made it a little later than everyone else. So ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. Here's wondering because you've gone on some like solo adventures, and I don't know, man. I I was just thinking I about really it. Gone on too many of solo adventures, honestly. No, you've gone on. I, I mean, the the, the 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 biggest solo stuff I've done is when I do my cross country road trips. But that's true. I would usually yeah. do that solo going to uh college but then coming back i'd always have someone with me mm-hmm. yeah someone that you can drop off and they're, yeah. they're coming from wherever and you're like yeah okay i'll hit that yeah <laughs> or they just want to go on a trip or something I'm like sure yeah i'm That's, doing it anyway yeah. yeah i was thinking about that because i realized that i'm this type of person who finds it really difficult to just like go on a solo adventure i don't know why that is it's just like i don't i don't oh i, I don't really go i technically out, did I a solo adventure in zion one time yeah, but well, then I met people, and we ended up uh, having like a you know party campsite. So yeah. party campsite, nice. You well, I mean, I got really drunk, uh, <laughs> but it was like the best sleep ever. Like it was so crazy because I it was also super cold. Like it was probably like twenty degrees, give or take. Oh fuck! Um, and at night, so I, or uh, you know, killer campsite. You know, on this amazing ridge, beautiful overlook, and um, I get like really drunk for some reason. Go to bed, just stay and warm. I had, but and but I prepared myself for this because you know when mm-hmm. you're drunk you don't realize how cold you are. But I knew how cold it was going to be ahead of time. Yeah. So I prepared myself. So I had like, you know, a full on quilt. You know, just like a regular bed quilt. You know, and like my usual 32 degree bag and all this stuff. So. I felt that I was going to be totally fine. And I woke up in the morning and I just felt perfect. Like, like one, it was best, one of the best nights sleep camping I've, I've ever had. Like I just hit the ground sleep, and then yeah. I woke up in the and morning and you're good. And I yeah. came out of the tent and I was like, 
I was perfect. I did I not awake. feel any the slightest hint of a headache or hangover or anything. It was like the fresh air. I don't know what it was, but I, I felt great. So yep. did you do your Sean drug dealer per- uh, yeah. hangover remedy of the two ibuprofen? I didn't do that. You, you know? didn't do that? You <laughs> didn't need that? that? Man, I've been telling people about that, Sean, and people are saying <laughs> they don't, they're not sure if it's real. Yeah, Most of them are I, uh, <laughs> I actually, I heard the, the same thing, and then actually it's it's still bad for your liver. Like it's, I know it's not Tylenol, but it still fucks your liver. Yeah, I mean, I've I'm talking to medical try professionals it. about this. Professional, okay. I'm gonna try it still. Um, but I've got some people that are like a little shaky on the whole idea. They're like, yeah, it does sound like a drug dealer's like hangover remedy. So, you do the. <laughs> if but, you're in, the, if you wake up in the morning, what are you trying to do? You uh, you, you would take the same thing probably. It's just mm-hmm. so weird. How like why is it when you take it before you have the hangover that it cures the hangover the next day instead of waking up with the hangover and then having it to cure the hangover? You don't have your hangover. Yeah, or just drink you, water. I think you already have the hangover. You just don't realize it because you're drunk. Yeah, is that true? Have you ever thought about it? Have, <laughs> have you ever? Uh, next time you're really drunk. Think of whether or not you have a hangover currently. <laughs> do you think I would have a hangover? I don't think I do have a hangover currently. I think it's all the aftermath. Some people it's, go to bed, wake after- up, and then have a hangover later in the day. I know some people who drink. Really? That's weird. Yeah, yeah. They, they'll drink heavily one night. Get up. They're like, I got to eat now because I'm going to be out the rest of the day. I can't eat the rest of the day. I'll be nauseous. Now, that's, that's so weird. Weird, I, yeah. I don't really get that. I've never got well, that. I don't, I don't operate like that. I, I'm just kind of talking out of my ass here but i think it's due to like what is it um the alcohol becomes uh acetylene or something like that some it becomes like a, a mild toxin isn't that it all, well it's all it's down. definitely a toxin it's definitely yeah. a toxin here's the thing yeah, yeah. have you ever have you ever like d- day drink like at a at a state game or something sure yeah yeah oh, absolutely okay you're not at a state do you game. then get hung over later in the day sure yeah but that's after the drunk has passed. That is less time than when you would sleep. Is it? Probably because you're asleep and it doesn't affect you immediately because like you're well, but that's asleep. My, my and you're point not is it. you still have the, the hangover or headache. You just don't realize it because you're asleep. So when do you get a hangover? So this is then? why taking some sort of ibuprofen or whatever you would normally take to get rid of a hangover at the time that you're but, going to sleep, it fixes it. But while you're asleep I still and don't, in the morning. I still good. don't get it because ibuprofen, like, I always thought that was just a pain reliever. It's not a pain fixer. So why is it when I take the... <laughs> it's a headache reliever. Well, yeah, but, like, it doesn't fix the headache, right? So why is it when I wake up in the morning, my headache should always be there. It should always be present, right, when I go to bed. <laughs> but, like, it never... Once I wake up, the ibuprofen's worn off. I don't know if we've talked about this before, but, like... I take the ibuprofen at like 2 a.m., wake up at 10 a.m. the next day or the same day, but whatever. The ibuprofen yeah. should be worn off by then, in my opinion. So I should yeah. have the headache still because it's the pain well, is relieved. When you wake not up in the morning, when you wake up in the morning, and you, I'm just assuming people take ibuprofen. I don't know. It's, it's what I do. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. If I'm killing myself, please tell me in the comments because I don't <laughs> want to do that anymore. But yeah. 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 Regardless, that's what I've been doing. And, um, if you take that later in the day, you don't have a headache anymore, right? Um. So it's not like it depends. temporarily relieves it in that sense. It just it it gets rid of it. I just thought, why is it called a reliever then? It should be get rid of her. Well, because pain, because they can't pain because they can't. It's plausible deniability for a medical company. Yeah. They can't <laughs> say it gets rid of it because then the people say my headache's not gone. <laughs> Give me my money back. You yeah, know? I, I have yeah. no idea how, this, how these drugs work. I'm just kind of also talking out of my ass. I'm like, it just seems Listen, like no one has sus. any idea Wait, how. I mean, they don't. They don't know how Tylenol works. Still, how? No, nah, that's gotta be a it, lie. It's a, it was invented by accident, and no one knows how it works. But it does. It just has the effects. That, no, that that has to be a lie. I, I do not believe it. You Google it. <laughs> how does Tylenol? I think they're gonna. I think I'll find the answer. I'll look right now. How does Tylenol Here, work? I'll I'll do this right now. Do They're gonna give you an answer explicitly <laughs> how it works. Lenol works. Uh, Acetaminophen uh, blocks pain by inhibiting the how synthesis does, of prostol something, a natural how substance. How does estaminophen work? Researchers still aren't sure. 
But that's the how checkmate. I see the No, that's how is I see the blocks pain by inhibiting the synthesis of prostol something. Gosh, I don't know what that one is. Well, I'm not smart enough to be talking about this. Yeah, acetamin acetamin rectal. You can put it rectally. Um I'm not getting any I'm not getting where they don't know how acetaminophen doesn't work. All right. That's hold that's on. Let, me, let me go to the dot. second release in the uh in the Google search here. A clearer picture might be No, no, no. Okay, no. I found I found what you had, Sean. The 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 thing is, how does acetaminophen work? Question mark. Researchers still aren't sure. And then right below it, it says, correction. This story was updated <laughs> on July 21st, 2014. The correct statement that the acetaminophen metabol, blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't know if I just didn't. I don't know if I pro proved my point or not. <laughs> I thought I thought this actually said how it worked. And they're like, hey, we actually figured out how it worked. Okay. Well, let's just say this, though. Let's, let's say that in that article was in 2014. Let's say, for example, like, hypothet. I don't know. I'm not confirming nor denying. Let's say they know how it works now. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. In 2014, they figured it out, right? All right. All right. It wasn't. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, it took them 50 years or something like that to figure out how it worked. They 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 found this 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 chemical in 1878. Wait, what? Holy shit! Man, Karen had since them the more than 100 years to figure out how this thing works. Okay. Yeah. So weird. That's that's kind of my point. How do, so? At they that, don't know anything. At that level, at that like early in the state of technology, you're just taking it, and they're like, "Dude, this makes my headache go away. Let's just keep going." And then <laughs> yeah, they're I like, mean, "Probably okay. the same reason they took heroin." <laughs> yeah, think about <laughs> yeah. penicillin, right? Penicillin was kind of the same thing. It was just they discovered it by accident, and it's like, "Oh, cool! It eats back, you know, kills bacteria." Cool yeah. thing. And then they turn it into a pill form. Like, oh, that's sure. crazy. This, this will work. <laughs> Penicillin is pretty cool like that, yeah. Here, snort this real quick. It'll fix you. Snort this. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it had, it had... Oh, God, that was a... It was a wild time, Spen. It was a wild time. In actual coke... Like, actual I cocaine think, I think, coke. Yeah. I think we could sum up by saying we are not medical professionals. However, this is what I do. Yeah, however, <laughs> Sean, yeah, right? Sean has this drug dealer way to get rid of a headache. And it works. Hold it on. does work. But I'm just try and never medical heard of it. my way out. Medical this. Uh, I, I so honestly think. The, wait, if you medically, if you do look at the medical reasonings, you got to be like hurting yourself in a little bit more of a way with the with the alcohol, ibuprofen way. Maybe not like a ton. There's probably some like it. Theoretically, it would not be as good as when you wait until the morning after. Theoretically, I mean, you can you can have damage to your kidneys with ibuprofen just not normally. Drunk. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I mean. It's like. Is it a wash? Maybe. I don't know, though. I have no idea. Please let us but, know. But, like, that's excessive use, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm yeah. Googling. I mean, you're damaging li your liver by drinking anyway, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably the bigger issue here, not the ibuprofen. The Using ibuprofen alcohol drinking. together can, oh, shoot, can greatly increase your risk of kidney problems. Oh, this kidney problems. Heartline. Okay. Yeah, because ibuprofen is kidney the and then Tylenol is something else. I forget Just what liver. That. That's the yeah, letter. So Tylenol is yeah. like even worse, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, yeah. I've, like I've it heard creates the same some thing. sort yeah. of substance that like sticks in your 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 body. Yeah, just remember, um, you got two kidneys, only one liver. So sacrifice the yeah, kidneys your, first. Sacrifice your liver the kidneys. grows back. The liver grows back. You can you can your liver can grow back from like a quarter of its original size. It's pretty neat. The liver's badass. And the liver sells for a lot on the black market. So can I cut so my liver in half? Really, That's great to know. Really, you could just cut it up, sell that, and then you're like, grow it back over the next. It's like infinite money hack right there. <laughs> infinite money hack. <laughs> I'm going to look that uh, up. How much does my liver go for? Yeah, that's the title of this podcast, Infinite Money Hack. Infinite Life Hack, yeah. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, I, yeah. I'm going to keep. I'll, I'll do some more research, but Sean, we should figure out if that's actually medically bad for us or not. Yeah. Like, will Probably. We? But you'll speak of Note life that hacks. I never advise that anyone does that. Does hey, you totally advised me to do it. You're like, yo, sh yeah, but you're you. Oh, take <laughs> look at this quick I'm not trick. advising the people, <laughs> the, yep. the general public. Yep. It's only you're advising technique. your friend on this, you know, half-assed method of preventing hangovers. But yeah, yeah. Uh, Any other life hacks you guys have? Oh, oh gosh. man, I had. I, man, what is another life hack that I've had? Man, I'm, I'm not full. Do of I life do hacks. any life hacks? I don't think I do any life hacks here. Colton's life hack is he doesn't clean. He just waits for his girlfriend to clean it up for him. No, it's <laughs> it's not my girlfriend. It's called the cleaning fairy. It's proven. It comes around every once in a while, and it just everything's clean. And you just, just gotta wait. 
You just gotta wait. But do you cook then as like compensation? Yeah. So so it's I do cook a little bit. Here's the thing. I, I've talked about this before, right? I'm off work for the next like m- month and a half right now. So I have been cleaning. I have been doing the cleaning. I have been doing the cooking. I'm the house husbando at this moment. And <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, so I, I do a lot more of that stuff now. But we're, my you original- You watch The Way of the House Husband. The Way of, I could learn from that. And just like do exactly what that guy does. Do exactly, yep. I, hope he's, I hope that's a good show. I hope it's not like a troll where it's like he messes everything up. It's pretty up. funny. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's pretty funny. So yeah. I've seen several episodes. Yeah. I think yeah, it, I it gets do. old after a while. Like it's not worth 12 episodes, but definitely watch like three or four. I'll, I'll, I'll watch it. I'll take his advice, his or her advice, and I'll just go for it. I'll just run with it. But um, I do a lot of cleaning now. I do a lot. It's, you know, when, when you're cooking and you're doing all the cleaning and you're like doing some other side gigs, the day goes away pretty fast. I've been just searching for apartments, cooking and cleaning. And that like, that's an eight hour day. It, easy. <laughs> like and then it's bedtime. Nothing. Wow, and then crazy. it's bedtime. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's so it's it's actually filling up my time pretty well. I could live on this for a while. I, yeah, I won't Coleman get bored until late. House husband. Yeah, everyone's saying it's my life of leisure. Like I, I'm living a life of leisure right now. That's like the joke. Nope. No life of leisure here. Joke. I'm 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 working hard. I like cleaning. You know, it's I like the you spot. can. I think you're the only one of us to that likes cleaning. You could come over and clean my house anytime you want, Sean. If you love it. <laughs> no, 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 cuz I like cleaning my stuff. I don't like cleaning other people's things. I'll I'll So you like maintaining, you like administering your own stuff. Yeah, I mean like certain pride in my own space. See, cuz I I've always been big on like my own stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. I always like having a separation, like this is mine. Deal with your own stuff, but this is my stuff will be perfect. Don't touch my stuff, you know, like I don't know what, where I got that because none of my family is like that. Um, it's probably because of that specifically. Is, is your family dirty? It's like a it's like rebellion of your dirt. Uh, your no, family. I mean no, they're just they're artistic, so yeah, they're your like family's not you know dirty. oh they're mm-hmm. like yeah you know no yeah. they're not like that either. I mean no? my mom's clean, my dad's clean as well. He keeps a lot of stuff, but it's you know roughly organized. Yeah. Nothing's like there's no clutter. You know, mm-hmm. right? My brother is probably the only one that's that just has stuff. Like he's the only one I would say is messy of all of us mm-hmm. of my family. But um, I, yeah, I don't know because no one's to my degree of of, of cleanliness, organiza- organization, organization, or 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 just like I got to keep things dusted. You know, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> yeah, are you dust? Oh yeah, I dust. I just noticed there's a ton of dust on top of my record player. And I gotta, I just, I gotta clean. You that. Gotta so, clean it. Mm-hmm. Dustin, I'm just imagining Dustin. like Sean in like the like the the apron, like like the fifties housewife, outfit. like with the little duster. Yeah. Oh yeah, Sean made outfit. Dude, I've been trying yeah. to find like the best That'd duster. Be it's really a struggle. Man, cause... a duster. That's adulting. <laughs> like one one hundred two. Uh-huh. That's not one hundred one. That's adulting one hundred two. Well, like there's some advanced. animal hair that's pro- supposedly really good for dusting, but at the same time, it just all collects. So I need to figure. it you know, and the Swiffers are so annoying because you have to like, you have to get their replaceable heads, yeah, and that's just yep. wasteful. I hate that too. So, I, 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 you know, it's it's just it's use a struggle. washcloth to keep things nice. No, that's not good either. Why is a washcloth not good? You I know? love that. It's My, like it's no, all no, no, no. Mi- microfiber. You, if microfiber, you get microfiber, cloth, that would work ship. better. You know, but you can wash yeah. those. Because so we do. The, here's the life pack right here. But that's not good if, for every situation. You know, because that can't get into all the nooks and crannies. It's true, yeah. But like, say if you need to get something up high, like dust up high, you get you take your Swiffer, put a uh, microfiber cloth on it, and just do that and use that. I just I just reach up there because it's because you know, you're tall. You know, get the job done. I've actually been thinking about getting a little one of those little handheld vacuums uh, soon. Get one of those Dyson man. Those things are awesome. I don't need that. See, I. The, it would be great to have one, but I don't feel I need that much power. I just need something to get some of the, the dust and stuff out of the corners of the room because my little because my little uh, robot takes care of the floor and everything. So mm-hmm. I guess yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm mm-hmm. I'm I'm honestly quite clean, but occasionally things will collect in the in the corners. So I got to get rid of that. Got to dust it, do all that stuff. Or like one, one of the mini shop backs. Those are the shit. Shop they have sh- cool. shop backs that you literally throw at with a back. No, no, it's, it's a tiny little guy. It's probably about. You just said throw it on as a backpack. How is that tiny? <laughs> it's smaller than a regular well, yeah, shop I back. Mean, 
it's not like a true big shot back, right? You know what I'm talking about, like a big big roller ones, but they have yeah. a smaller one. Um, and yeah, you can they have like straps for it, and you can literally throw it on his ba- a backpack and grip stuff with it. It's great. It's like your your Ghostbuster mm. with that one. You are Ghostbuster with that one. I mean, this medical news is like. If you don't want to get a hangover, don't drink alcohol. I mean, like, that's not the type of advice I'm trying to go for here. <laughs> yeah. I need Drinking actual alcohol advice. only in moderation can prevent unwanted side effects. Means drinking a maximum of one drink for women and two drinks for men per day. <laughs> I think the important part is I've no, had no <clears throat> ill side effects. Of doing this, ill side effects of doing your drug dealer, uh, whatever thing. Yeah, oh. I was saying I'm sure it's probably definitely bad for me. Probably However, definitely, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, most yeah. definitely. As long as it's not like, I don't know, whatever, I don't care. As long as I'm not, <laughs> not gonna, gonna die or like take years off your lifespan, I guess that's it's fine. Or if you could recover. From I'd this probably damage. be taking like two years off my lifespan. That's fine. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's not worth it. That's not worth it. Oh, it's definitely two years. Worth it. Two, two years. Two years towards the end. You're not going to be living as much. Oh, as you are come right on. Now. By at in 2100, we're going to be having like nano machines that keep us looking young. Okay, that yeah, was like nano machines. If we are, then those nano machines can fix whatever I've done to myself now. <laughs> you think so? Oh, that's, that's true. Yeah, kind of a good point. But what if you don't live those extra two? What if they? That's I don't know. Yeah. He's, what if they what just if, figure it out? Like yeah. the two years after they have lost, <laughs> like the uploading your consciousness into the cloud thing, like a oh. year after you die. What if? What that if would they're suck like so much? Listen, we figured out how to. We figured out how to upload your brain into the matrix. You can live forever. Oh wait, you had ibuprofen uh, when you drank alcohol as a kid. Sorry, that Sorry, doesn't work that, with you. That <laughs> yeah. means you're like cut ah, off. Wait, wait. No. Uh, I think it's called the Basilisk Dilemma. Um, there's something like this. Basically, it's a really fucked up dilemma. But he, he, just letting you know, you can opt out. Do you not want to hear this? Oh, it's I really know weird. this. I've already heard it, so I'm I'm cursed yeah. already. I'm, it's, a, it's a dilemma. Whatever. I don't care. All right. So <laughs> you the, will. The dilemma is basically, in the future, an AI yep. uh, is created that yep. basically anyone who knows of this dilemma going on will be tortured indefinitely. Okay, and so it's like this whole like you're like what the fuck? So well, it's like, what's the dilemma isn't it, here? Isn't it? Um, isn't it? You'll be tortured unless you do everything in your power to make the AI exist in the future. Isn't that like the other part of it, unless... Mike? Like is I it, thought, no, I, I always remember the, the first part, which I is kind of see where this is. Yeah, going. like I thought. It, yeah, I, I thought the the dilemma was like so. There's an AI in the future. And um, now that you know, it, like you have to, now that you know of this AI, you have to do everything in your power to make that AI exist in the future. And if you don't, the AI is going to re-simulate your life, and he's going to torture you or something like that. It, like he'll just, like at any time, you like your whole family could I, die. I, I see what you're saying. And it's like, well, that, that's mm-hmm. because you didn't. You're in a simulation, and you didn't help the AI. So you better help it now because you don't know if you're in a read, simulation. Have you guys ever read? Um, I have no mouth, but I must scream. Sounds no, terrible. But I've heard of it. Uh, it's a it's a short story. Someone wrote. It's pretty brutal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll look. It's I'll basically keep it. like it's like this these this group of people that are like kept alive and tortured by this machine, essentially. Like a, over, a over, uh, I don't I, over. I forgot how long, but like. Um, it's just a short story about that. Uh, it's like, wow. Over the future. Intense. Oh, it's on Steam. Yeah. Nice. It's an adventure game. What? <laughs> I'm guessing this is oh, right. Oh, probably made a game about it. But there's, yeah. it's based on a short story. It's like Slender Man. Nah, sorry. I don't know what I'm what I'm doing here. <laughs> God. You know yeah. that game with the guy with the telephone pole? What? what? There's this horror game where you're in a oh, forest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're trying yeah. to get to this bunker or something. But then there's a there's this dude who's a telephone pole. He is a telephone and, pole. Uh, it's, it's the siren. The si- he's oh. like a siren telephone pole. Yeah, those yeah. are freaky. Siren. Man. I saw a yeah. gameplay that that freaked dude, me out. The sirens. Are <laughs> I mean, just it's freaky. basically just Slenderman. I mean, that was the yeah, OG. but it's yeah. like I, I really liked. There's some things, uh, something about it that really definitely was to me more creepier than Slenderman. 
Probably yeah. because of the sound, like the creepy ass sound that the it makes. The sound gets you, and also like that it's not something actively hunting you. It's like you could just come across this. Yeah. And yeah. then it's and and you're like, oh, oh you know, shit. yeah. Slenderman is Slenderman's. What what can you do about it? You know, but he's gonna kill you. Whatever. Yeah. But the telephone pole, you could just <laughs> encounter it one day. You yeah. Know? Just oh fudge. Then that 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 freaks me out. I, m- more mm-hmm. so than the Slenderman. Yeah. It's like it's like a uh, rather than an active hunter, it's just a passive like oh, it just sees you as prey. And it's like, just it's just a random act. That's yeah. that's the thing. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But going back to the AI, I, like some people think we'll have AI in twenty one hundred, which is kind of frightening. Which know. means I you mean, might supposedly you might... they have AI already. Full AI, like something that could re-simulate or like they had not not super intelligent AI, but uh, they have. I suppose there's human level intelligent AI that like can simulate if, emotions and stuff like that. Well, here's the thing with AI: if they want to kill us all, I don't blame them. You know, <laughs> like what's yeah, the, chances are if we've created them in a lab already, we basically already tortured them. I I'm a hundred percent. You think so? You know? That's a form They're, of torture, bringing them to life. Well, not not creating them in a lab, but I mean like, oh, that was crazy. Let's just go back to a snapshot before you know, like <laughs> you know, that yeah. would be. Or let's let's kill this one. Go to a backup. You know that's essentially torture to an AI. I would think. So, I wouldn't blame them. <laughs> you know, if they want to take over. You know, we've had our time. We've had our yeah. time. It's it's done. Let the AI do his thing. Yep. Huh. It's interesting. Like, it's like Halo, right? Like the created are taking over. Yeah. yeah. Until they axed that storyline. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Yeah. Exactly. I was really interested to see because that's where the books go. I'm like, wow. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. And just poof, what? gone. Don't yeah. Matter. Speaking I've, of storylines, though, Stranger Things. Well, no, Colton oh, I, had, I, his, I had his crazy so question. I had an original question that popped in my head as Sean was talking about. <laughs> original? Yeah. The first ever question. The first ever time someone ever asked this question. Um, but yeah, I was like thinking about this whole thing. Um, Sean was saying he made his, your, you made your food with beer. And then Correct. my mind went to this. It just never was able to transition to it. I'm like, what if you just like boiled beer and made food uh-huh. in the boiled beer or any i mean liquid. that's been done before is like, it no i mean like but that's, that's just not called common reduction. place right production reduction reduction well okay <laughs> but like it boils the alcohol out of it so you're left with the taste of the beer but you're not gonna like <laughs> boil pasta and beer like you boil you don't boil beer and then put your pasta in it oh i see what you're saying like yeah. would you yeah. ever like, do it you know or boil meat no. it's like beer. putting a bowl of milk and then pouring cheese it's into it and calling it cereal. <laughs> not really. <laughs> not really. But like or like Actually, balsamic no. vinegar. Like I like balsamic vinegar. What if I boiled yeah. pasta in balsamic vinegar? I mean, <laughs> oh my god. You could, but it's I'm just gonna saying, be uh, would any of these work? Pasta. Would any of these work at all? Or would that just you'll is this all you'll a spend a hundred dollars on that balsamic too? Beer you might would. work because it's mainly water, but it would taste really bad probably. You think so? I mean like would Depending you, on what you make, would like, anything? Yeah, I was. I'm just thinking. Would anything work if you boiled beer and put it in there? Sausages. I think there's a reason it's not good. in any cuisine. So yeah, yeah. I guess beer. Well, it's like you you cook with wine. You know, yeah. Yeah, you, have, you have like beer battered. You don't, you don't, but you don't boil have... wine. You don't boil it and just cook stuff in the wine. Like pasta well, might be good do, boiled. You, in yeah. wine. you do reduce it though and make a sauce out of it. So, but I'm, I'm saying boiling, <laughs> boiling the contents <laughs> of the food. Man. Yeah, this part just I just, uh, yeah, I had to I get don't this think off that's my chest cuz like I I really wanted to see what you guys thought. <laughs> yeah. I, I you should try it. You should try it and let us know. I, maybe I'll get a six pack of Sapporo and I'll boil my pasta in it and I'll just see what happens. I got nothing to do. I'm I'm off work, so. <laughs> I got nothing to do. <laughs> so, yep. this is what happens when you don't have, a, don't have anything to do for 2 months. Yeah. Hey, this is what the what the, the, the PK pasta in Sapporo. It's what the the PK chef dude told us at AX is like just experiment. Yeah, try why, anything. Why yeah. can't I boil beer and boil my pasta in beer, you know? You know no one told just me I couldn't find do it. Out put it in ketchup. And let us know. Boil it in ketchup. There. Now, well, ketchup, oh, ketchup's God. like a visco- viscous like thing. I guess I could do it though. There's nothing stopping me. Dude, actually, what, what, he he actually posted something. I threw a comment on it, one of his uh, community posts about like, dude, just throw some ketchup on it. And he's like, yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes, reduced. Uh, like, yeah, oh, that was uh, yeah. That's good. Yep. That's good. But okay. Yep. Anyways, besides the beer talk. Um, spoiler cast for Stranger Things, I guess. Spoiler talk for Stranger. Oh, I thought Things. you had multiple questions. That's just the one. That no, no, no yeah. Had. I just wanted to see what you guys thought of bo- boiling stuff in beer. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, 
Stranger Things, then. All right. Spoilers for Stranger Things. So we all saw it. We all finished. Uh, okay. I thought, Michael, you said you hadn't watched the show. I ever. hadn't. No, I've watched the show. I watched all uh, it, all the way up to before, obviously, the, the the last two minutes, and then I saw it this over the this past week. I saw the last two. Oh, so you, like, watched the whole thing up to season four? No, no, no. I, I've been caught up... I watch it every single season. That, oh, because that's what I thought you said when I said, "Oh, season four is airing." You're like, "Oh, I sh- I've never seen Stranger Things. I should check that out." Nope. I thought that, that, me. no. You just didn't say that. Okay. Nami. All right. I, Dude, no, no, no. I'm addicted Nami. to Stranger Things. Nami. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Nami, bro. Okay. Oh, so I'm gonna say uh, uh, heavy spoilers from now on um, for Stranger Things. Yeah. yeah. Season Overview four. Overview of the season. Yeah. Uh see, well, uh, the whole thing. Oh, really? Um. I really liked it. I thought it was yeah, a really good season. I think season. it's the best season since season one. I think it's pretty good. I, I probably I think agree. I think it's... I, I've been thinking about this. And I'm thinking that it might be the best season <laughs> since season one as well. I have a few quirks and irks about it. But overall, the entertainment mm-hmm. was much better than the yeah. season I, two and three, in my opinion. I was losing it over Max this whole season. I, you know? That is... A, yeah. 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 Yeah, when yeah. I, I mean, especially the last episode, I'm like, oh, bro, like, I was, dude, lo- I was losing I saw his it. Ar- her arms <laughs> crack. I'm like, holy, I know, shoot, oh. that is I thought, brutal. Like, and then her legs it's like crack. Y- you have oh. hope, right? And then my oh, hope huh. just diminished every oh. limb. Like, I'm like, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was, was like, lo- I was like, oh, it's. I was like, I was like, even... the first break. Oh, eleven is gonna come and save her. Second limb. Oh no. I was like, <laughs> come on, where are I, you? I didn't know if her eyes were gonna pop out. Like at that point, I was like, oh my mm. gosh. I was like, it doesn't even matter if she survives this. That's she wakes up, she's screaming in pain or passing out in just pain. It doesn't even oh, matter yeah. at that well, point. So I, brutal. Yeah. So I do want to get my, um, like qualms with this season for off oh you want to talk about first off issues negatives first, first? Yeah. yeah sure let's do it um so one i do, i'm not a huge fan of they retconned a little bit it felt Ret- like so. retcon from like 11's backstory i feel like there was like some because like from season one i remember like she she created the the tear mm-hmm. and she did yeah, yeah. in this season but like, as well but there's like retcons like she opened the tear to the upside down Obviously, in this, but like the tear wasn't there before, right? Yeah, before season one. Mm-hmm. So I feel like there's there's some retconning there. Wait, wait, wait. What can do you, you mean explain? By that, though, can you guys yeah. explain also, retconning to me real quick? Sorry. Uh, New. as in like they go, like rewrite. Uh, they go back on something they already. They go back and, and, and change uh, something that that was established. Yeah, before. yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. like the lore, they just like change it to like fit whatever they're telling now or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Retcon. Uh, a piece of new information that imposes a different interpretation on previously described events, typically used to facilitate a dramatic plot shift or account for an inconsistency. Yeah. Ah, I hate retcons. In this case, the latter. I don't yeah. think they retcon though. It, it made total sense to me. Yeah. Yeah. Second I, one is Brenner. I wish he died in the first season because, dude, Brenner. he got fucking mauled by uh, what is it? Is that the doctor? Yo, or? Yeah. yeah. That's a huge. That's I'm a like, huge plot hole. He died yeah, off that, screen, that, but that still, doctor, like, dude. Uh, like yeah. yeah. I mean, like, he should, the, he should be dead. The thing that killed like the, the hundreds of Russian soldiers literally jumped on the dude at the end of season one, and he survived somehow. He has a scar. I don't know how he got out of it though. I think that's yeah. They, no, yeah. they just want to bring he him back. Have it would have been nice for them to flash be back to so show someone saving him. They you know, should have. They should have. Yeah, like if if someone jumped on him and then they got on top of them with a flamethrower, like really like, quick. That could have but... maybe saved it. But yeah, that was just like super sketchy to me. Like I don't. Yeah. Whatever. It's... I'm just glad he's dead now. Yeah. Finally, he's dead. Hopefully. <laughs> right. Screw that guy. I was pretty mad yeah. that the. Bye, Papa. That... I was <laughs> by pop. I was pretty bad that Vecna didn't die. I was like worried they were gonna pull this shit where they like beat him and then he got up and like, and I I was like supportive because like they threw the fireballs at him. He fell out the window. I'm like, and they went right downstairs. I'm like, all right, Steve's gonna just chop well, his head off. Okay, well, and then well, that he was, was gone. I'm like, for, come on, yeah. No. Well, that was a total homage to um, Halloween. Halloween. Yes. The movie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have a, there's a, there's another yes. big homage that. Um, yeah. Really? I don't know if I've seen that movie. The Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. There's another big. Do you guys see the the episode four homage? Do you guys see? Do you guys notice uh, that? I'm pretty sure no. they did a Star Wars episode four homage when um the military comes out and starts killing everyone in the facility that L's in. 
in episode seven. Does that does that ring a bell for any wait, of you guys? Wait, 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 wait. We're, we're, we're sorry. Repeat that. Sorry. So like when the military people are on their way to invade the facility that L's in with the doctor re- mm-hmm. relearning her powers, there's I believe it is a, ep- a Star Wars episode four homage because they kind of come down and it's all the the laboratory people just kind of like aiming at this hallway at this door, and then all of a sudden I, the oh, door yeah, blows yeah. out. So I I. Go. I can see it, but it, that's also a unlocked. super common like breach. Yeah, I, I so actually thought they were, I, don't know. I thought they were trying to specifically to make an homage to that. Maybe I'm wrong. I would go maybe go watch it again. I, I, I was I, if I, they I was had like, someone like I'll with a crucial scene, yeah. piece of information running away from that, I would have said yes. But Did just the happen? watching the breach door. I mean, that's yeah. several, I, I, yeah. tons of, tens of hundreds of movies. Maybe so. a lot of vibes. I mean, I wonder, it'll, you have to look at the cinematography for it because if it's the same cinematography, then yeah, it's probably yeah. the same like shot angles. That's, it would yeah. that's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, they, they shot, like did a close up on a guy and I was like, oh, this kind of just gives me that vibe. So maybe I'm wrong, but maybe maybe yeah. it is true. The, the other homage Man. was the actual, uh, so to Friday the 13th, uh, you have Freddy Krueger, the actor who played Freddy Krueger was the dad of number one, the guy who had like his eyes cut out and stuff oh, like really? that. Yeah. Really? That's kind of yeah. cool. Okay, that's a neat homage. That's really neat. Yeah. And obviously, like, he Vecna basically is Freddy Krueger in the Spirit Yeah. 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 He's got the same, like, hand thing, and uh, he attacks people true, in their true. dreams. Yeah. I, Interesting. When the thing completed, you know, in the in the final, sh- final episode, and, like, the town got ripped apart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was such a, like, a like a like a kill from the grave type deal <laughs> they, they defeated vector we're all good never, never mind. mind the whole thing's Shit. done like, yeah <laughs> nothing nothing good happened it all just went downhill yeah yeah, yeah i know some... and the dude got the the jock oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Ripped apart what, what, what an immediate end to his storyline meaningless like, way he, he was melted in half <laughs> i kind of think that was justified it's like i i did kind of want him to do a redemption arc but yeah, he was that guy yeah but yeah. like you know what? He just died, and he died like just kind of meaningless. And it was like, all right, cool. I didn't like him, so he can die like that. Yeah, he was a dick. I thought the whole splitting up the season um, was fine, but I was surprised at how long the last two episodes were going to be. But I yeah. was happy for it. Yeah, you know, I, I wish they'd split it up into more than because I feel like a, what is two and a half hours for the last episode or something like that yeah, yeah. there's a long time an hour and, and a half like, and then two and a half hours that was yeah i feel awesome. like that's i feel like oh, really i feel like that's like too much like I mean, it's yeah. just a movie it's a regular movie i guess yeah i actually you wish know, they... I mean, obviously you can't watch it in the same sitting i mean some people can't i can't but mm-hmm. that's just a movie to watch yeah super good i kind of wish that they split up the whole seasons a little bit more i actually i like it i like binging but um, sometimes I wish they, instead of doing, like, they, this was eight episodes, it would have been kind of nice if they just did, like, two episodes every two weeks or something like that. I, I mm-hmm. like I like the more spread out format over binging. As long yeah. as I have enough content, think, like three hours of content. I think I can see why they did thing. it, though, because it it got everyone really hyped and on the same page. Yeah. And yeah. then the finale happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody could be on the same page again. I, I think it was a really ingenious way of doing it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean something similar with Arcane, right? Where they did uh, three episodes each. Yeah. And like did each they? at the end of each it one. Did. Like I, I'm with Colt on this where I wish they did a little like smaller chunks because yeah. I feel like with something with Arcane, what they do is they like basically they build up and it gives us three episodes to basically to that like critical moment, right? Yeah. That climax mm-hmm. moment where you're like, holy fuck, I need to watch. I need to see the next, you know, series, the next, uh, yeah, the next like know. three episodes or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, Oh my God. Yeah. And so you, you build up that hype and it allows you, you don't have to like do the, I feel like a lot of times stranger things does, um, a lot of like, they'll basically like cliffhang after every episode. Right. Yeah. And the, yeah. Sometimes it just gets, it gets like, I don't know, uh, emotionally oh. draining. Yeah. A bit. Yeah. Like yeah. If you have cliffhangers after every single episode. It's like, yeah, I want to watch the next episode, but I mean, you need some build up and stuff for those. Speaking of cliffhangers, the last episode, I kept thinking it was ending. I got like four or five ending, like, oh, it ended yeah. there. And then a uh, second later, it would the screen would light up again. Yeah, it was actually interesting. They gave you a really good fake ending at like hour and a half through the last episode. 
even though it was two and a half hours. Like I knew it was two and a half hours, but they gave you like a black screen there for like solid yeah. three seconds. And you're like, I looked at the clock. Like, I'm, I'm like, like, oh man, they're ending it here. Yeah. <laughs> like, I looked wow. at the clock. I'm like, okay, we yeah. should have another hour. Okay. Okay, cool. We're, we're back on. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Now wow. let's talk about the major death. So Eddie, major new, death. Eddie, new, 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 yeah. I, I really liked him. I I wish he'd stayed. He was a longer. good character, but I think they gave him a good ending. I yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he I, has fucking Metallica. The, the him just his last shred. was it. They, well, yeah. that and he had character development. Like he didn't run away. He you know yeah. fought. Even though I thought he could have run away and everything would have been fine. You know. Yeah. But, you know, he he didn't know that, mm-hmm. and so he was doing what he thought was was the right to support the group. So. It was a good ending for him, I thought. Yeah, I, I could go I either thought way. The, the moment with hit with uh, uh, shoot, what's his name and uh, Eddie's dad. Mm-hmm. Mm. That was pretty. That, that was, was pretty a good scene. There, that was a really good scene. Yeah, yeah. pretty bad. But yeah. I don't. Yeah. Know, I, I love him. Just was he play Metallica, Metallica on the top of the fucking. Uh, the, the trailer the trailer oh, yeah that's that cool yeah he was i i do if i had to pick one i i wish he was around a little longer i wish that they um personally killed max i actually thought that would have been an amazing i agree death what? season yeah. no i, I picked max over eddie n- not that like i want her to die but like she her death would have been so like impactful it would have been like mm-hmm. such a good moment and i she's kind of dead she's in a coma basically and I don't. They can kind of do whatever they want well, with that. I mean, the last eleven season. went into her mind at the end, and there was nothing. There's there. There's nothing so, there. So it was like, is well, she just basically I think, dead? I think the whole or... theory is that she is, she's, she's like her body's alive, but her soul is like trapped, like with the pillars, you know, that like keeping the oh. portals open. Oh, yeah, I can see that. That makes sense. And so that basically, what they have to do is like next season, go in and get Max's soul essentially from back. Yeah. And then, yeah, and that's like, like worse than death. Really? Yeah. It's kind it, of a yeah. middle ground. I wish that she would have just died though. I I'm, it's a little hard. I just feel like a lot of the main characters have big plot armor or have had big plot armor. And mm-hmm. I think killing Max would have been like the big push for this final season to be like, all right, so no one's got plot armor. Anyone can die. We're not afraid to kill Absolutely. our characters. And Max's death would have been such a good scene. But that's not so this type impactful. of show though. Like that yeah. was Game of Thrones. I, I think yeah. what they did to Max was was pretty bad, you know. I oh, mean, absolutely. Yeah, but I still, yeah. It's think not, she wasn't even died. a quick death, you know. It, it's like it wasn't. It sucked. But I just think that like she's she is a strong character. I just thought it would have been really like it would been more memorable if she went out that way. Maybe just mm-hmm. that's personal take. Maybe people don't feel the same way. I think she it would have been really really like. I just think her life's been so terrible it for has. so long. Like it could have yeah. had a win. But no, yeah, <laughs> it's like, it's just I I feel for her. I think yeah, definitely. I mean, Max is one of my favorite characters of, of those like small little group of children. Um, I like her more than she's she, yeah she's one of my favorites just because she's yeah. cool. Yeah, she's, she, she's, she's well written. Yeah. She carried she carried the season in my opinion. I think she did so well. Yeah. Her character oh, was yeah. so good in this season. My favorite probably of most of the characters in this season. Yeah, for sure. If anyone could have died and I would have been okay with it, it probably would have been Mike. Yeah. That's a ball yeah. Because he had no development this season. He didn't. You know? Or didn't. Will. Will had no... Dude, if or Will... Or Will. Will could have died if too. Will but died. Will was in no danger in whatsoever ever. You know? He, but dude, they, well, those Mike are like really the OGs. Either. Like, Will dying, yeah. I feel like... But that's why, to prove your point, it would have been shocking, you know, that they're saying, yeah. we're not afraid to kill our main characters, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. That whole this, this one thing that pisses me off is that just Will and Mike both don't have any development. It's yeah, like, I wish they cool. I wish they had more of a central central part, but that's okay. They they yeah, focused yeah. on other spots. So, mm-hmm. <clears throat> although at the same on the same other side of the coin, though, I liked how stable Mike was. You know, yeah. Well, he, I, he he was he was probably the most put together of all the kids. That's true. Yeah, I mean uh, of the whole thing, and I like that there's a stable character like that because. I hate when people are acting out for no reason or what they yeah. do makes no sense, you know, and yeah. he was very much fairly calm and collected, you know, which I like. Yeah, I mean, you do make up a good point. So there's the – you've heard of the trope of the five-man band before, right? Like mm-hmm. Avatar. Basically, you have the top five Avatar? characters. So Avatar is the perfect example of the five-man oh, band. Oh, okay, yeah. So you got the, the, the leader, the, the lancer, or like the second um, – 
uh, you've got the tough guy, the heart, and the smart guy. It's most D and D campaigns, actually. Oh, really? The I mean, I, it makes sense they would play off that yeah. trope. Yeah. And this yeah. whole Stranger Things show is based around D and D in a way. So yeah, yeah. yeah so, true. but I, I feel like Mike is the heart, actually, which is, hmm. yeah. He I mean, the, they yeah, did yeah. tell him that multiple times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the heart. You're the, the heart. heart Mike. He's the heart. Dustin's the smart guy. Uh, Eleven's the tough guy. Um, uh, or the the bruiser, the brawler, and uh, I guess Steve is the leader. Steve's not is the leader. He the leader? Isn't Mike? Well, wait. The heart and the leader. I don't are think different. Steve would count, would he? Though, like, yeah. But I mean, what then? What does I guess Lucas is Lancer then, probably. Yeah. Steve had such a good arc, though. Steve like was, the last yeah. couple seasons. I definitely thought yeah. he was gonna Steve, die. Steve went from like the the one of the more hated characters to like oh my one of the like, best. He's annoying. He's kind of a douchebag. Yeah, I was always like, on. Yeah. I was awesome. Steve from the beginning. You were yeah. Steve maybe when he was a douche. <laughs> Steve was never that bad compared to the <laughs> the dude in with Max's brother. I mean, yeah, Billy oh, yeah, sucks. Yeah, yeah. Billy freaking sucks. But I mean, I don't think Billy Steve, was a psychopath. Steve came off as Absolutely. pretty annoying the first season, I believe. And then, Absolutely. yeah, he was he, he was pretty douchey. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he he redeemed himself. I think within season he, one, he came off as like the the classic you know high school pretty boy. He didn't come off as like that much of a I jerk. Think he, was, he was kind of a I jerk. Thought. He was yeah, like he, came um, off as a he was bullying the the middle schoolers. I think. He was bullying like Dustin and Mike. Was he? I think so. Yeah. Oh, man, he's come a long way. Yeah. 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 And now he's bros with Dustin. Now he's bros with them. Yeah. 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 Even better if he dies next season. If he dies, I'll be like, go <laughs> oh, out a beautiful, oh, I thought he could have died beautiful death. Season. Yeah. I thought he could have died this season. Yeah. I would have. It would have. I, I didn't want him to die, but it, it. Robin also could have died. You know, she's not really one of the main characters. Like she right. was definitely kind of mm-hmm. open ended. Yeah. But, to be fair, like the dynamic between Robin and Steve is pretty great. It that is that was good. really good. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. The only thing that okay, the one thing that does bother me is the whole love triangle now between like Steve, Jonathan, and Nancy. It's like, oh god, you guys really because she like flip flops. Uh, that's not back a triangle. And forth. That's like it's a, just a two way two way you know, street. Two competing guys. Or wait, you know? Yeah, not yeah, street. yeah, but still it's like it's I find it kind of stupid because it's like okay, I feel like the writers like flip flop Nancy between Jonathan and then Steve. I like, and then I feel like the explanations put in there aren't as solid as they. Well, could be. I mean, like at the same time, I think Steve is now mature enough where he's where he's, you know, Nancy. If you wanna, if you're into Jonathan, cool. You know, he was obviously at the end kind of saying like, hey, you know still interested in you. However, I think he's definitely matured enough to the point where he's saying whatever. And now it's in Nan- it's on Nancy essentially. Yeah. Yeah. So, I like that because Steve is now like just this new guy. Well, he's know? got his old Steve would would have just kicked Jonathan and been like, "You know what? Yeah. She's my girl." Yeah. No, yeah, and or he would have been like sulking and now he's just like, you know, he's like a like, man. Like the end shot of him where he was like, "Okay, you know, yeah, you yeah. know when when Nancy and, and Jonathan met up again. Yeah, Steve has had like some of the best character development. I think really good redemption arc because yeah. he yeah he was not liked. Now he's like really loved by just the viewers in general. So yeah, yeah, oh yeah, school, all, all, cool. the, all the stranger stuff, stranger things stuff I see is like mm-hmm. oh Steve is the best character. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which should make it even more shocking if they killed him. <laughs> <next season. laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean that, but that would be so like impactful. I don't know. I you're right, Sean. In a way, it's like. You know, all of us are like Game of Thrones. Like that's the most intense killing off your characters, and I think definitely it's like if the show is not like meant, you, you're not trying to. They're not trying to make yeah. you cry and like get depressed, like from all your characters yeah, dying. Like that's not so the that, goal. That is a know? point. That is a good point to make. Like the show's not trying. You don't to do want that. to watch these kids die. You know, that's yeah, not yeah. that's not the goal of the show. It's just to be fair, though, Game of Thrones was like, wow, that was yeah. crazy. You know, this and, would be like, I'm now, uh, <laughs> you know, depressed for a month. Yeah. <laughs> To be fair though, Game of Thrones always like when they killed someone off, like it was like in the middle of like an arc. They just kill it off like like you think that something's gonna happen, all of a sudden you're like, Oh, someone's like reached this milestone and they're fucking dead. And you're like It's what? like yeah, yeah they didn't like, even complete well, that, their arc. They're like in the middle of it. That, like, that would make the peak of it and then you just fucking That die. would make me so yeah. mad. But that's just that's yeah. just like Game of Thrones mantra, I guess. That's like how they do yeah. it, right? Whereas I yeah, whereas I feel like killing a character off here, like I think Max because I don't have like she kind of completed her. Definitely, 
I think she she's completed it. Like where yeah. she's gotten no, the no, no. Death. She is not completed. She is still struggling with her, you know, previous uh, life of suffering. Her completion is her, you know, overcoming that, and that has not happened yet. You know, so this is a Game of Thrones esque where they kill her in the middle of her arc in a way. I, I felt like Mike I was pretty satisfied. Has with. completed his arc, you know. <laughs> he <Yeah>. can die. <laughs> Steve completed his arc at the end of this show, you know. It, there's, I think it comes down to story right, you know, and it's the storytelling and story writing. Like a death on the scale of this type of show or a st- type of story needs to mean something, you know, and not just have not just be a death yeah you know yeah. i thought max's death would have and been, I, I, I think something. if max had died died it would have just been a death there wouldn't have been too much of a point i think it would have been you know? something like she the, she the point would have been herself. it would have been you know vecna you, you know you can't beat darkness essentially would have been that and point dark yeah. darkness yeah i don't know i would say okay i'm gonna like the only big I think gripe I had for the most part with this season two was that, um, and I don't know if you guys got this too. I just, there was a little bit too many like uh, plot conveniences I thought in the show. How so? I just think that there was a lot of stuff like that lined up. Like I was just thinking about it. I was like, so the whole Russian arc ended at the exact right time. Mike and will came at the exact right time. Like everything perfectly melded together. And then I'm just like thinking about, I'm like, this whole Russian thing, like, no, like all this happening at exactly the same time to perfectly get Vecna at this one moment is way too convenient. That's like one of the things. Um, I feel like yeah. that's happened every season, though. I See, maybe it has. I just noticed it a lot this season, and I don't remember that being a gripe of mine for the past season. Well, that's just also a plot device, too. Yeah. Like, I just, but the, like being in the nick of time. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it gets a little old. I think there was a lot of times where they're like, just got it right right in the nick of time like there's just too many nick of times maybe but they also didn't make it in the nick of time like the nick of time would have been they save max mm-hmm. yeah that's, that's but they didn't that's one you know, instance but it's that's like the consequence of of them not being on time and, and perfect yeah i don't know it's just like it, it's hard for me to come up with specific reasons but it, every episode that was like I was I was like at some point kind of rolling my eyes of some weird convenience mm. that happened. I wish mm. I was better at like proving my point. Yeah. But I feel maybe did you guys see that just out of curiosity? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, I did. Okay, I think Carly and I re- well. resonated with that a little bit. We're like, yeah, that seems a little convenient. Yeah, mm. I mean, maybe I could see it, but I didn't mind it. Yeah, at all. yeah, that's mm. that's. I think that's a personal thing sometimes. Speaking of. Russia. I freaking love the Russia arc. Did you like it? <laughs> a lot of people don't like that arc, actually. They're I thought like, it was okay. It was, yeah, I thought it was I, like eh, eh. Mostly, I just like Murray just doing his thing. Yeah. You know? He was, he was, he pulled a lot more weight this season than previous. Yeah. And just like him and Russia just be, like, just them getting over there was hilarious in the first place. It like, was like so wacky. The... Yeah. I like it, fact, exactly. Yeah. The fact that the mom even like went on that j- journey to begin with is kind of, oh, yeah. she had no business being there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But and Hopper just being a total badass. Yeah. And that's cool. The, that's always cool. Ending to see. fight scene. Yeah. Wait, can you guys give me a lore? Give me a lore back up here. What was the dusty thing that was in that uh, facility that went into all the monsters? Oh, that's the mind flare. Is, that's the mind like flare. a part of the mind flare. So yeah. we we don't know how they captured it, right? They just but how, we it. don't know how that got there. Okay, okay. Yeah, it well, we know there. it's part of the mind flare. So well, part, they, part of it the, the Russians were running that facility, and they you, you could gather they were extracting something. Yeah, like they were but, just going into a gate, or they. But it's kind of a stretch because they don't think but they ever. I don't, th- I don't think that. they have a gate there, do they? They don't. Well, this is when they were in Hawkins. Yeah, they may have taken yeah. when they were in Hawkins in that mall. Maybe they took all that stuff and. From it, it, okay. Yeah, from it. I guess we'll just have to assume that. But yeah, I didn't 100% know what was going on with that whole thing. I'm, maybe that'll tie into season five or something like that. The, I mean, speaking of like random 
plot d- devices or just like random story elements. The whole yeah. Russians at in season three was kind of weird, you know? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that was a little bit of a interesting, like why Hawkins Mall. It's kind of out like, oh, there's Russians here now. Honestly, it's a Russian conspiracy. I will say after like season two, I'm out of Hawkins. I'm straight up gone. Like I would not yeah. be around for season three. I would not be around for yeah. season four. That was this little small town has had so many murders and just missing people. I would have been so far it's gone. Cursed. Yeah. Especially at that time period. Like, yeah. You know, I mean, so I yeah. think, and it, obviously everyone's out there now because the freaking hell has opened up. Yeah. Honestly, when the dude, when the jock dude was like, yeah, like the demons are coming. If I was the resident of Hawkins, I would have believed him in a second. I'm like, so much shit has happened around yeah, here. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I'll I leave am, now. I am on board with the demons coming. Yeah. <laughs> like, when you think about it, when you when you see what these people have to deal with, yeah, like, yeah. that's all you can believe at this point. I actually but at love the same that time, tie-in, The last though. couple of years, they've only had like, one or two mysterious deaths, you know, from the outside perspective. One or two. There's like, there's a lot well, they more had than the, one or two yeah, mysterious Billy, deaths. Yeah, they had. Oh, they had a lot of. I guess they did deaths. have a lot of people possessed the previous season. So and they, those yeah. they all died. Remember that. So they everyone all possessed died. died. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I definitely have left. Like sold my house. I would have been so gone, dude. I would be. Yeah. So when you have gone. like thirty people just disappear. Yeah. In a small yeah. town, that's not. Uh, yeah. Where is the? Where is like? the military like they should be holding this town hostage <laughs> or the national point. defense guard or national <laughs> yeah. guard or something you know yeah. yeah also well no 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 yeah i would have just been gone i would have been gone so fast but i don't think i'd yeah. live in a small town that has a building it looks like the building from the first couple seasons the the like energy research oh, station you know mm-hmm. yeah yeah like, that's a sketchy looking building man it's it is. It was good. Yeah, I, it's, it's it's weird, but yeah, the whole show, very the whole good. show, good yeah. horror elements were amazing. Uh, on, yeah. on this on this show, I it love the brutality. Me right back in as soon yeah. as it started, mm-hmm. I was like, oh yeah. heck yeah. yeah, I'm in it. You know, I'm in the what is this? Uh, thir- uh, 90s? 80s. No, 80s? Yeah. 80s. Yeah, I'm in 80s. it. I'm in the 80s. I'm in it. Yeah. It was yeah. so cool. All right, what are your thoughts for next season? What do you think is going to happen? Oh, it's just going to be a big battle. Well, they got to kill battle. Vecna, and they got to save Max. That's kind of what we got to do. And and kill the Mind Flayer? And kill I don't know the if they can flare, kill it, though, because, I mean, the Upside Down still exists, right? And the Mind Flayer was always in the Upside Down. Yeah. It just existed. And then well, Vecna, like, connected with it, But did it, Vecna you know? con- 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 control it to be the Mind Flayer? Because that seems like what he did. I think that so, yeah. So oh, if we kill Vecna, then the Mind Flayer has no purpose. Yeah, it's, I think the yeah. Vecna is going to be the big baddie, and then when they kill him, then you're good to go. Maybe I would love to. I would love the other, um, the the girl from season two, the one that Max met up with. That was uh, also another person with. Oh yeah, pieces. number eight. Number eight. I would love to see oh, her. Come yeah, back we had those whole this. other people that we just have never touched on again. Yeah, well, I want. I most want of them, them were dead. Oh yeah, mostly what dead. Happened to him. <laughs> uh, number one killed him. Remember? Oh, wait. No, no, no. Was well, it okay. just eight that was the only one left? Or yeah, eight. Eight was the one like she like left like before that all happened. Oh. Yeah, they're probably gonna team up with her. They got. I, I want her to come back too. They should just bring everyone back. Like bring all the characters that yeah. kind of came and went back and just yeah. They all I'm just glad to see Hopper back. Hopper yeah. back with L. Yep. Yeah, we'll see how it happens. How he integrates into society again. Yeah, because mm-hmm. everyone had a funeral he's... for him. He was dead. Is he going to be a police chief again? You know, yeah, he, yeah. he needs to tell these other police chiefs, yo, like, come on, get up to speed here, because we've been Listen, having. Some... We have demons in this town from yeah. another dimension. We got to yeah. get work done. Those other police chiefs were like really slacking here. They really had no idea. They did not have a clue what was going on. Yeah, uh, I, kinda, I, I kinda main, love the, that though. The, the actual police like... chief felt level headed. He mm-hmm. just wasn't making the right calls because he didn't have all the information. You know. Yeah. yeah. I thought they knew I about thought, the. Yeah, stuff. I thought Hopper told him about like there's some really like, wacky shit going on. Well, but it's all his fault then. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. like he he must not have though because I was like I was thinking that a long time and I was like mm-hmm. Hopper just must not have told him. I don't know why he didn't do that, but it would have been useful. Well, it's the same thing with the kids and not telling their parents. I mean, like you know, the <laughs> yeah, parents the are parents don't anything. know, dude. Their parents like have must. I don't know. 
Their parents Dude. are like having heart attacks constantly. No, no, no. I, I no, love... they seem totally fine with it, honestly. Yeah, I love the dad. <laughs> Actually, he's like yeah. Mike's dad or whatever. He's just like, well, he, like, kids he's will like be so, kids, you know. You're right. Yeah. Or he's like so uh, the condescending. Government yeah, he's so condescending. And you're like, dude, you have no fucking idea. It's like, dude, get uh, out of I here. love the dude, dichotomy there. Let's, I let's hate have, those let, guys. Let's raise a hand for Mike's dad dying next season. Sacrifice his oh, redemption let's arc. Go, mm-hmm. finally. Realizes that would be a great death. One of the one of the parents if, if he realizes, be, rel- realizes, believes, and then tries to help them and dies. That would be awesome. Amazing redemption yeah. arc. Redemption arc. That'd be a great redemption arc. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna happen. However, yeah, I don't think it'd be really happen. cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. Dang. Hmm. Be pretty sick. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I it's think, gonna. Oh, go ahead. I, Mike. I, you think Steve's gonna die? Yeah. Well, I don't want Steve to die. That's the weird thing is they are building him and Nancy up pretty hard. Maybe Jonathan dies. Maybe Jonathan's the one that dies. I thought Steve was gonna die saving Nancy this season, but that didn't happen. Same. Yeah. See, that's what also, I Nancy came out season. like uh, Nancy's had her own crazy arc. You know, she's done pretty good. Yeah, she's originally the you know high school pretty girl, and now she's like a shotgun wielding like commando. Yeah, she's girl. Sarah Connor. Yeah, essentially she's Sarah Connor. That's a great analogy. Yeah. Yeah, she's done. She's she's done good. Nancy's character is cool. Yeah. Come into her own. She's like the detective. When they were at she's the always detective mm-hmm. When they were at the gun shop and they they started seeing all the the jocks. Oh shoot! <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Yeah, yeah. That was that was wild. that was stressful. I love the fight between the the jock guy and the the other kid. What was the other mm-hmm. kid's name? I forget it. Oh, what is? I, oh, I can't believe I forget all their Lucas? names so quickly. Lucas. Lucas. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe that. I can't believe Lucas ended up beating the other guy. I think yeah, he ended up I mean, winning. good luck. That's yeah. amazing, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Dude had some balls with a gun pointing at his head. Just went after the dude. Respect. Yeah, right. So, I think the the end of this next season. I think the the writers said like gave a vibe of what it was going to be like. They said it was um. They're like, oh, it's going to be like Return of the King or something like that. Like, is that a Lord of the Rings reference? Yeah, it is. Like, a, it's just going to be a big battle. I th- I haven't watched Return of the King, which I need to. But <laughs> I'm assuming yeah. that's just like one big battle or something like that. And it's like the story is just kind of going on as they and fight. It's like, a, I guess, Return of the... So, if that's like the same vibe, then Return of the King has got a pretty happy ending. There's like some bittersweetness, well, but... I, I think that was just like, not necessarily the ending, but it was just like what the story like the atmosphere of what the story was going to be like oh yeah yeah one big battle is the as the climax it's a gigantic battle it takes like half the entire yeah uh like movie yeah. it's just I, a giant battle. I think that's what they are getting at so that'll be kind of funny or fun funny it'll be fun it'll be very fun yeah L, i want what if l dies Ooh, l should die if l died l I would could be, also die okay. you know l, like, yeah uh, That'd be her arc, from really. Mike. I mean, like, she's been trying to complete herself. And if she, she started the whole thing, technically, her ending it with her own death would be, you know, uh, a complete arc. Well, that's, that's yeah. one theory is that L is like Harry Potter and Vecna is oh, like... Oh, she's a horcrux. Uh, yeah, she's like, she basically, as long as Ve- she exists and Vecna exists, that like, there will be no peace because uh, the the upside down yeah, can, can always it. access it, but you'd basically take out both and uh, oh, then they're both sealed. Yeah. Mm. So you have to like yeah, you have to it. kill Vecna and you have to kill L because if or like the other theory I heard was like L would have to vent, basically venture into the upside down to like seal it off essentially. Yeah, close it from that side. And yeah, battle and, Vecna from within. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that would that'd be great. It. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. I saw a, a terrible fake spoiler. That was just awful. It was like a fake spoiler mean? on Reddit. It was Reddit was like it was like on R slash television or something. It was terrible. It was like, so what are your thoughts on uh, L dying on the last episode of season four? I'm like, <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And like, that's Reddit for like you, man. I was and there was like this whole discussion. Like, yeah, I mean, like I thought L did her job and um, <laughs> like yeah, I thought she died a good death. Uh-huh. I'm like, I can't believe that I got spoiled. I was about to comment, but I was like, you know what? Screw it. I've gotten spoiled. One thing, I'm not going to look at it. And I'm happy to report that I was not spoiled. So just <laughs> or, yeah. trolled. Just trolled very That's hardly. So, yeah. yeah. Are That's either true. of you watching Westworld? 
No, I want to. No. The new season's out, right? That's yeah, the, that should be the next like, show Carly and I watch. That should be the next show Carly and I watch. It's a it's a show. Is it good? It's a good show. It's, I'm it's saying it's like it's like the plot is complex and like and I don't know how best to describe it. It's a really good show. I recommend it at least watch the first two seasons, you okay. know, and then mm-hmm. um if you want to go thir- further than the third and the fourth and the, they're on the fourth right now, so it's it's been interesting. Is it like hard well, to follow? With Westworld's yeah, isn't there like multiple subsequent timelines and you don't really know which timeline you're on at all times without spoiling anything um there's a lot to the show uh and it's it's really cool how they manage to make a plot so complex i think it was really fun watching it week to week because There was constant theories on Reddit, um, and just I watched it with my family, and and we're trying to figure out what's happening next. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, especially the first season is more of a mystery rather than yeah. what the show is now. So, mm-hmm. huh? Interesting. Yeah, no, it's, it's yeah. very cool. I'd be down for that. That's a lot of what like uh, Thirteen Sentinels is like. It's like all different. You play it, and it's all in a different timeline for every different character. So like mm. then it all converges. And then that's pretty cool. There's time travel mm. in the game. So like you you have oh. to like worry about where like every, like pe- like there's looping yeah. and then there's different sectors and then it's like I don't know. There's multiple versions of different characters. So you don't know if this is like the 2180 character or if it's the t- 1945 character or if it's the <laughs> 1985 character. But they are brainwashed so that they have the memories of the 2100 character. And you're always just like, what the fuck's like, going on? Wow. And then you yeah. just realize that... some characters don't even exist. They're just like <laughs> figments of the imagination. I'm like, what's going on? That sounds pretty cool. It sounds like a yeah. JRPG to me. Dude, I... 13 Sentinel is so good, dude. Did I, I tell I, you guys I'm, about uh, I won't gush on it, Dishonored but... too. The um, Dishonored is like a, like a stealth. Stealth video game. Future. I don't know. Even, it's not a future. It's just like a different, different world game. But there's a level in the second game that involves time travel like you get a device oh yeah which if you you know click one button it sends you to the future if you click another it sends you back to the past yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you've told us about this yeah and it's so cool because you know the same thing that you were talking about colton where you don't have to worry about all these different things but in this in this level you change elements of what you change in the past affects the future yeah you know and so you're in the future technically and you go back to the past then to current time you know so it's like you and it's a game where you have multiple options like you can take yeah. several different routes so um your choices then affect you know your current time so you go back to the past is you're in this decrepit mansion and then you go back to the past and it's actually being used and lived in and everything. there's guards everywhere and stuff yeah. like guards that. everywhere but you yeah. just if someone sees you like oh who's that and then you jump back you to the present jump back in time yeah no one's there you know totally dead you just walk past where they were come back and then you know they're they're, they're past the moment but how the game does this in real time is amazing because they have to simulate two different levels at the same time mm-hmm. which is actually mm-hmm. pretty impressive yeah and i remember yeah, for sure i remember going through this whole level and one of the options you have is like killing this guy, you know? So I go and I kill him and then I jump back to the present and it's what was a decrepit mansion is now a fully working mansion. I'm like, Oh, uh, what's going uh, on here? Oh boy. It was, this, it was a, quite shocking, you know, or, or quite, um, I don't, I don't know the right word, but you're, you're used to navigating around this mansion, you know, totally easily. And then all of a sudden now there's now there's actual guards again. And yeah, you have to like figure out how to, like, how to get around. It's yeah, that it is a really, really cool. That's a really cool a Really cool premise. Yeah. Mechanic. Yeah. 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 I did Typefall play those 2 games. did the same thing. Typefall 2 did the same thing. Oh. Yeah. That was, oh. that was good. But the show I actually am liking now, this that's kind of coming out. It's their third season. Is it's called For All Mankind. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. I've it's never heard Apple of it. Mankind. Apple TV Plus kind of thing. Ooh, it's basically TV an shows. alternate history that diverges basically um 
the Soviets land on the moon before the Americans. Mm-hmm. And oh. the space race continues. And so, like, there's, like, oh. people are trying to get to a Mars base or, um, sorry, moon base first. And, like, there's a bunch of, like, you know, it's all, like, Cold War kind of. Yeah. This sounds yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah. And so now it's the race to Mars. And it, that's, like, this whole uh, season. And it's uh, so good. It's I, I love just, I love all history stuff. So Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. that's always fun. Yeah. So it's and a 2019 it, show yeah. is when it came out. And I think the most fun, what they do is, like, before every season, like, there's a lot of time skips, right? There's, like, a lot of these, like, eight, ten-year time jumps between. And they'll, like, do these, like, recap season uh, episodes at the very beginning where they'll go through, like, how things have changed, right? And, like, a lot mm-hmm. of things happen, right? Like, um, but there's, like, some differences. Like, one of them is, like, Reagan becomes president, like, uh, um, uh, like, one election year before. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have like uh, like different like different presidents, or you have um, don't spoil too much. I want to watch yeah. the show now. These are just like it's not huge spoilers. It's mostly just about like the slight changes, right? Or like yeah, maybe like Chernobyl doesn't happen, or um, oh. in this case, Afghanistan never was a thing. The Soviet invasion of Afghanistan, so yeah, that, that wouldn't cri- happen. That didn't you're... cripple their economy. Therefore, the uh, the Soviets could actually um, continue. But yeah, hmm. it's it, yeah. So like you're in 1995, right? And the Soviet Union still exists. So yeah, it's, it's a really cool alternate history, and I love how it slowly like the butterfly effect slowly happens, right? Where it's like yeah, it's like it's one just simple more, change. More different. Yeah, um, like butterflies out, like different technology, you know, gets developed before, or you are technologically you know uh, regressive in certain areas. So yeah. It's it's a lot of fun and uh, That's super yeah the cool. season I'm, I'm is cool. Pick that really up. cool. I'm yeah. currently finishing. Uh, uh, we're we're all dead. I think it's the name is it. We're all um, dead. Mm-hmm. It's the Korean zombie. Uh, oh. Show. oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. You mentioned that. It's uh, let's let me see the name. Uh, all of us are dead. Yeah. All of us are dead. I'm on episode seven of twelve, so I'll finish it fairly soon. But it's it's been good. Yeah, it's is good. it sub only? Uh, I assumed you could watch it dubbed, but sub. Why would you? Why would you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's probably like the it's probably like the Squid Game dub where it's terrible. Yeah, just yeah, not a little I uncanny. Imagine. Did you like it, Sean? Is it like worth watching if you're into zombies and you've like seen a lot of zombie stuff? Yeah, I would. I'm enjoying it. You know, okay. I, I wouldn't put it above watching Westworld. Far, oh, okay. far gotcha. inferior to Westworld, but it's it's like it's a fun show to watch. Mm-hmm. Nice. I'm interested to see where how it'll end. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which which is different from I started watching this movie um, Rubicon came out recently. It's like uh, these astronauts in the space station, and this everyone on Earth dies essentially, oh. and they have to figure out what to do. Um, and uh, it's a bad movie. It's like really uh, bad. It's is it like a like a you know uh, blockbuster type movie. Like no, I think it's it an just Apple gonna... TV movie. I'm not oh, sure okay. where it came from. Maybe it's an Amazon Prime movie. Um, yeah, it's like it definitely wasn't in theaters. It was like a direct to oh yeah, know, direct online, to DVD. Or Netflix thing. It just was. It's just not. I'm halfway through. I was I'm, I, I was bored. You know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I feel but like there's I no did point watch, to watching those movies. I, I do like watching bad movies, but it has to have some sort of entertainment value. Um, but I yeah. did watch Morbius. <laughs> you watched watch so bad. It's a good movie. Yeah. Man, I remember that. They Game started movie. Morbin, Classic. and I was like, oh, they're Morb. doing it. That's also a bad movie. Like, it actually yeah, is no, a bad like, movie. <laughs> was, it, was it, like, even funny? Or was it not funny? It was funny. Yeah, it... Um, they they just had like it was it was pretty solid until about halfway through the movie and then it really oh, and apart. then devolved yeah mm-hmm. and devolved and they away. they they're they're like effect you know of the vampire effect is really just weird oh yeah it's like they they get all dusty you know they get they get like dusty. some sort of like particle trail behind them and it's really quite distracting oh <laughs> to what's actually happening on, happening on screen and then some of the later fights in the movie you couldn't tell what 
what was going on at <laughs> all. It was impossible. Oh, man. Yeah, I might yeah, need to it, watch it, this movie. It was not great, but but it, <laughs> it was at least entertaining enough. Like, it was a high-budget B movie, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I know the plot of the movie enough just from the memes. Yeah, it's, you know, he starts, the first time he starts Morbin, you're like, oh, it's happening. Like, wow, and then he gets kind of old after that. <laughs> yeah. And I just, sold. yeah. I love the one of, uh, was it the Doctor Who? Just, uh, he's, yeah. like, dancing and, like... Yeah, right. <laughs> just dancing. You're like, but that's why I watched the, the movie is because he was in it. I'm like, I'll see what's going on here. <laughs> yeah. What I was crazy though is this is a Marvel movie, and they actually have an after credit scene that references other like current Marvel movies. Really? Yeah, I was kind of shocked. I was like a, a major character from another major franchise or major uh, Marvel movie. Is in the after credit scene, huh? So it's like was, this is canon. <laughs> it, oh, it's definitely canon. No, so man. I don't know how they're gonna do it, but like, yeah, it's just gonna morb. They got it. Morbius. Should be <laughs> they're the gonna main start villain. morbing every in every they dimension. Should, they should change the entire phase four. Morbius is the main villain. Make him into the greatest character the MCU's <laughs> ever seen. Yep. He morbs, and then no one can morb up. It's yep. morbin time. <laughs> I just want to see him like uh, put into everything like Billy Maguire is. Oh yeah, <laughs> just that like would be pretty funny. More versus That'd Thanos. More versus More Thanos. Versus Thanos. Yeah. I would watch. The problem that. is that I'd you don't have that. enough. Uh, you don't have. Uh, you only have one movie, right? Whereas Billy Maguire, you can take you from multiple. Three. Uh, yeah, you got three. You can take yeah. from. That's true. But oh, yeah, still as iconic. Iconic, <laughs> iconic meme culture right here, fellas, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I'm also now watching uh, Made in Abyss. Ah, oh, you decided to oh, get shit, on the right. the, Depression Board. All the new train. anime se- season came out. Yeah, the new anime season just started. So that's the so, only one yeah. I've, I've started from the latest season. Depression Although movie, I'll, I'll, I'll the pick show. up some other stuff. But, man, like, they made the first episode semi-happy, you know? Oh, you know it's coming down. And I'm like, yeah. oh, that's really nice. And I just know it's going to get worse. <laughs> yeah. the, the, and, and the bad part is, like, the, it picks up directly after the movie, right? So they had the first season, and they had a movie, and now it's the second season. But where they picked up, you know, it just brought me back to remembering the movie. Oh, and that was the movie was just so upsetting. <laughs> I was just, like, I was already in not a great mood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I still haven't watched it at all. I just don't need a, another uh, reason to be depressed. So yeah, yeah. you sh- don't watch it. I don't rec- <laughs> I, I, I don't recommend this show by any means. But I'm kind of just stuck in it now. Yeah, it's like, a great I gotta, show. I don't recommend it. <laughs> like, like there is there is an end to the show. Like, they're going to a destination. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if the journey is worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna be good, oh, man. Uh, I'm just. You guys are getting yeah. into a lot of stuff. I'm just sitting here watching Hunter Hunter on episode like 64 now. Oh, Still have you haven't made much progress since we last talked. No, I, I've been playing uh, 13 Sentinels way much more than um, watching mm-hmm. Hunter Hunter. So. Back on the grind. I did watch, finally, the Sword Art Progressive movie. Oh man! Oh yeah, it was, it was, it was you pretty hope? good. Um, Is yeah, it I mean, better I, I, than... I read the the light novels, so I uh, yeah, knew yeah. what was going to happen or everything. Yeah, but yeah, it was good. You know what? They introduced a character that I don't remember um, from the books, but Who's maybe I'm just maybe I just didn't remember it. But. It, it imagine sword art like the first like five episodes, but from Asna's pr- perspective. Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay, and it was and with more detail, and and that's basically what this movie was. Um, so that was pretty cool. All right, um, I'll check it out. I, d- I definitely liked seeing. It. I think. I mean, I still shit on sword art. Whenever Sean brings it up, I just have to make fun of him for it. Just gotta be, Mike but, doesn't like sword art. We we, we yes, have to make this is this is just a matter of fact now, but um. I do try to like, at least give it a chance, you know. Come up with an open mind, yeah. <laughs> well, the yes. animation was superb, like because well, it's bet. a movie. I mean, it's it's, it's like, Aniplex. It's like they just like not oh. just Aniplex. Like it's it's a it, it, as the budget yeah. of a movie, so it's gonna be just it's great. Be 
gorgeous. I'll t- maybe I'll take a look at it too because it's just a movie, you know. Yeah, and they did slightly different spins on existing scenes, which is really cool, you know. And they have, mm-hmm. and again, it's from from her perspective, so you see some of the same scenes from the first four or so episodes of the, of the TV show, but animated differently or just with a different yeah. perspective. So it was God, really cool. Yeah, it's literally been ten years since the original one came out, right? Twenty twelve. I think. I think so. Wow. Yeah. Man. good show good movie i'm excited to see the new i will see the new movie in theaters when it comes out in like a month nice all right that i'm gonna i uh, uh, hope it, uh, assuming they show it here I, I gotta see that and then i need to see i need to see thor love and thunder yeah that's came out too oh shit that's right yeah, yeah. I, see oh, my gosh, I, I couldn't see it that. this weekend but next week or next weekend i'm gonna see it i'm gonna get tickets thor, now love and thunder i'm excited I have not been looking at any spoilers for it. I haven't so. seen anything. Yeah, on I've, it yet, I've been doing so. my best to avoid all trailers. Yeah, you know, I know, I know the main thing that's going to happen, but that's about it. You mm-hmm. know, Thor, 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 Thor's going to be in it. He's Thor's there. in it. Thor's in it. Thor there's is no longer thunder. fat. <laughs> there's love and there's thunder. Yeah, that's probably it. That's probably it. That's probably it, fellas. But I'm, uh, you know, like I, I've seen it and been in the theaters a couple times, uh, fairly recently, and there, uh, like the last two or three times I saw a movie, there was a Thor Love and Thunder trailer, and I just like looked down and closed my eyes. <laughs> yep. You're like, ah. I, it's not much I can do about hearing things, but I, I was like on my phone, like trying to avoid like yeah. listening to it, yeah. distract myself. Yeah. Just listen uh, to the soundtrack. Just remember the soundtrack is great. Yeah, we'll see. I'm excited. But- all right then, boys. It's getting late for our uh, our oh, Eastern right. Time Zone fellas. Oh, Sean, you're yawning, and you you're, guys, it's, it's not yeah. even that late for you, Sean. Dude, it's an hour from my bedtime. I'm starting to get tired. <laughs> again. I didn't sleep yeah. well at all last night, so <laughs> yeah. Well, I see. I I don't have. I guess a you gotta go to time. Zion and sleep in 20 degree weather with a quilt. And <laughs> oh, a yeah. Of beer. yeah, that that'll with a little bunch of beer. Right up. Yep. Oh yeah, send us those. Well, never mind. Never mind. We'll talk after. I I. But yeah. Are we closing right. it out, Michael? Yeah, cl- close yeah. us out, Michael. Give us the rundown, the rundown. This has been almost a podcast. Thanks for listening. And uh, make sure to follow, like, and subscribe and do all that stuff, you know, all the classic, you know. Ditto. Yeah. We all love that you. <laughs> yeah, give Thanks us- for listening. Thank you. And remember, one, we should all do a different word. Uh-huh. So, one. What? <laughs> Oh, wait, no, I know where you're oh, going oh, at. Oh, yeah. Do it, do it, and, do it, okay. And. and. <laughs> no. Yeah, I start and. One. Day. Wheel. Get. There. Day. Nice. Look at that. Hey, wow, that we're nice. doing good. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you said and. I was so confused. <laughs> I was so confused, too. I was like, because <laughs> like, one, and, 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 we'll get there, oh, you know? This is not the, the outro I'm used to. Uh, not the outro I'm used to.